Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am here with my dad. We are in the Drum Mountains. So for those who don't know where the Drum Mountains are, just over this hill, a little past this, is Topaz Mountain. So we're just south of Topaz Mountain, about five miles. And this is known as Agate Hill right here. It's a little hill where people come and collect some agate. I've never actually been here. So I'm excited to see what we can find. So up here apparently are the pits where people like to dig. We're gonna look around first, just kind of looking at the ground. And I'm already seeing some agate, so looking promising. If you'd like to know where this is, I'm gonna go ahead and put the GPS coordinates right here so you guys can see where it's at. And then you can use those GPS coordinates to come and explore this place. <laughs> explore this place. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it out. So you can see, we're pretty close to where we parked. And you start hitting the pits people have dug in. And then right here, you can see what they're going for. They sag it like this. Got this nice banding going through it. It is all over here. But this is gonna be very difficult to get anything out with just hammer and chisel. Kinda wish I had some kind of power tool. Look at that stuff. It is very pretty. As you work your way up the hill, you can see that it is literally coated in chips of this agate. Just everywhere. So I'm wondering if the goal is to try to find large enough pieces that have weathered out that have what you want on it. Instead of having to try and bust it out. I'm gonna find bigger pieces of it. This has got some nice quartz on it. Maybe there's some nice quartz pieces. Been working our way over and I'm definitely seeing larger pieces and better looking ones. And this one seems to have a bunch of quartz on it. Oh, it's got a nice black line going through it right there. Look at that. Some quartz on top. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's just a matter of really searching and looking for the better and bigger pieces that have weathered out. Or if you've got better tools, you can go back to the pits and dig that nice stuff out. Interesting. This looks very clear at the top there. Oh, look at that. Huh. Almost like it's got stuff going through it at the top. Cool. Yeah, I'm consistently seeing larger pieces now. Of course, a lot of them are low quality. But mixed among them are nice ones. It's just a matter of finding those. It's got some nice red to it. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. And that's some of that bubbly Chalcedony, Batriotto. I like that, I'm keeping that one. I found this one. It was all dirty, so I couldn't quite see, and then I sp <laughs> sprayed it off, and uh, not, not too bad. Some of this darker red Jasper is nice, too. Just sprayed this one off. It was right there. Sprayed this off, and look at that. Some nice colors and patterns there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Very nice. And this right here. Look at those swirls on it. Those patterns. Let's spray it off a little bit. Spray it off and look at that. That is quite nice. Yeah, I like that. Keep that. Oh, that one's letting light through pretty nicely. Just found that one and sprayed it off. Look at the purple on that thing. It's interesting. And look at the orange in that. Very nice. Oh, let me hold it further away so it's in focus. 
But I decided, that's where I would started, decided to come down instead of up. I found this. Look at that nice pocket there. Kind of got a nice agate rind. Well, agate in the center and then kind of goes to like a jasper on the outside. It's a neat piece. Right, I think I see one right here I like. It's got that edge. Oh. Oh. I do like that. Let's spray that off. Yeah, hold on to that one. I like that one. So I was over there. Now I've come across. Somebody has a pit up there. But I came here and just started seeing larger pieces everywhere. Just big chunks. And then I found this one. Look at the red in that. Like little red drops. It's kind of neat, isn't it? Right there. Right in that area. I think I'll hold on to that one. So when we parked there... And we walked up where most of the pits are. I just kind of walked over here. As soon as I got past this little gully right here, the pieces got much larger. Let's take a look at that. And then right here, we've got a whole bunch of pieces all through here. And right up here, look at the size of this one. <laughs> Huge. There's that gully I was in. Big spot was over there. My dad's still over on the main hill. I figured if I can just get further away, as long as there's stuff, I should be able to find some better quality. And I think I might have found some of that better stuff. Let's spray these off. All right, the mud was, the dirt's pretty caked on, but look what I managed to clean off. Look at that. Definitely some better looking stuff. Like I said, just gotta get away from where people usually are. That was pretty nice too. There's the vehicle a little further along, and this is a great opportunity to show you what the stuff looks like in the limestone. So you've got this limestone that had spaces that then filled in with all the quartz, all, the, all these different varieties. And that would have come from hot water, probably from the volcanic activity that's happened over at Topaz Mountain, which you can't see, it's on the other side of that hill. And then there's some also basalt flows over that way. So the volcanic activity that happened here probably brought up the hot water through the limestone, which then deposited all this nice quartz. So I've come up and over the hill from there. So now you can see the other hills behind me. Which makes you wonder what's in those hills. Don't know what time I'll have today, but probably in the future I want to check out some more of those. So here I've started to run into some... Uh, it's been a lot of jasper, mostly red and brown jasper. And here we're seeing some more of that brown jasper. But we're getting these little veins going through it. I saw this one right here. It's got some black along the edge of it. So, I don't know. Not something I'm going to keep, but it's interesting. I've come over to the next hill. So that's where I just was. So that is that little ridge. And then back over there. Look, pits right there. I missed those because I came down there. I'll check those on the way back. That's the main hill going that way. So our vehicle's right about over there. Across the valley to come over and take a look on this side. And most of what you're seeing is Jasper. You're getting decent pieces of it. Here and there. But it's really not that good quality. Well, I finished searching the side of the hill right here. Up to about there. So I just kind of started right on there. Worked my way across. Then decided to come over here where I thought I saw those pits. Oh, and it was all Jasper over there. But you can find better jasper elsewhere. And they're not pits. It's just a lighter colored limestone. <laughs> Fake out. Just walking back in. Say hello, say hello to the horned toad. How you doing, horned toad? Yeah. Lots of lizards out. 
Okay, I'm on the back side of the hill again, but this time from where we parked over there. So first I started by, you know, coming up the hill and then I went on the left side from where we parked. Now I'm over here on the right side from where we parked. So if we look off, we can see into the valley. There's the highway that comes in to Topaz Mountain over here behind the hills. And back that way is Delta. So yeah. Anyway, over here, I'm finding much bigger pieces. Look at the size of this Jasper. Look at that dark, kind of a purple and brown. So the pieces back here are much bigger. The question is, can we find quality? So I've been searching around here for just like five minutes and already look at these pieces I found so much better than what I was finding over on the other side. Look at that thing. Look at this one. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. And look at some of these. These are nice too. And this one. I love this one. Look at that. Love this side right there. And searching around a little more. Here's some other nice pieces. We've got this one. And we've got this one. This will look nicer, hopefully, when I get cleaned off better. This one. And this big one right here. This is some nice jasper. You can see you've got the nice red and yellow and tan kind of all together. And it came off of this outcrop right here. Look at this stuff. This part right there. Just got this nice red, dark red, purple, yellow, almost yellow orange tan jasper this one looks like it might be pretty nice oh yeah that'll look real nice you can see some crystals in the pocket too very nice and i think i see some crystals up here too look at that that's cool just for the crystals nice so this one started as just that tip sticking out of the ground and then whole thing that should look really nice once I get it cleaned off really well and then this one is one that you didn't really suspect much but then look at that side it's really nice that was sticking out just a tiny bit sticking out and then look at that underneath it's beautiful yeah this is definitely the best spot we've been at all day definitely Look at what I just found. Boom. Look at that thing. Ugh, it's heavy. Beautiful though. Looks like we hit a really good spot. Right here we've got a bunch of agate coming out and I don't know how well you can see any of this, but it all seems to be good quality. Still nice, but we have some really nice ones somewhere. Let me see if we can find oh here it is. That's what I was looking for. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm back from the dig at the Drum Mountains. That was a cool place. I've never been there before. I'd seen it in the book before, and but every time I go out to Topaz, I, I want to go to the Topaz Mountain, you know? So this time I finally was like, no, I'm gonna go check this agate out. And it did not disappoint. This is some beautiful stuff and it comes in all varieties. I saw just about every color of the rainbow, except maybe green. Or maybe I did see, no, I did see. It's kind of an ugly green, but <laughs> just about every color of the rainbow. Agate and Jasper, both mixed just all over. It is neat stuff. I've got some pieces cleaned off here and let's take a closer look at them. I actually have quite a bit just sitting over there that I, that I came back with a full bucket. But these are kind of the cream of the crop. Now, I admit, it's hard to tell what I'm trying to show you with this lens on right here, because you really need to get up close to appreciate these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the macro lens on and I'm gonna show you how these look close up. First piece is this nice red-brown jasper. It's got some nice patterns. There's a lot of this out there, especially on, that, on the back side of the hill on the right. There's a lot of this. So if you like this stuff, there's a lot of that there. 
This one's kind of nice because it was more of a, almost a blue. Almost a blue, pretty close. Right along the top there. This one had a nice pink, kind of a flesh color to it. And once again, you can just see all kinds of patterns going through this stuff. So here you can get a closer look at these bigger rocks and just see what they actually have all over them. You can just see these little bands of agate running all through these pieces. I like how this shows the stress in the rock from when it was part of a fault or, you know, just rocks moving and it cracked and then it filled in with agate, kind of a colorless agate. <laughs> okay, it kind of went dull on me because it was went dry. So I got it wet again. Look at the side. Look at that beautiful patterning of the, the agate with the jasper just all mixed through this. This one's very dark, but look at the patterns in it. It's just really neat. You can see just the little bits of agate showing everywhere. And this is a bigger piece of that one rock. This is the side that doesn't look that great. But look at that. This is the other side of that one you just saw broken off. Because it's got pretty much the same pattern. And if you flip it around, look at that. Neat stuff. So what'd you think about that cool agate from that area? Yeah, I, I was impressed. I, I really didn't think the agate was gonna be that quality and it's neat. And I bet if you spend more time and really poke around and dig, you can probably find some really amazing stuff. Agate and Jasper of all varieties on that one hill. And who knows what's on the surrounding hills. I gotta get out there and uh, just explore some more. Yeah, it's a neat area and I can't wait to get back out there. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.